Nothing that might even be taken as a sign of dissent is allowed in Russia right now. We are still holding up. We have uh, President Biden's uh, promise delivered to us personally and in the State of the Union. We will also work around the clock to bring home Evan and Paul, Americans being unjustly detained by the Russians. And we know that the U.S. government is taking Evan's case very seriously, so we are optimistic. The accusations against Evan are categorically untrue. They are not a different interpretation of circumstances. They are fiction. As we cross the one-year mark, the Russian government has yet to present any evidence to substantiate its accusations. I do not rule out that the person you refer to, Mr. Gershkovitz, may return to his motherland. By the end of the day, it does not make any sense to keep him in prison in Russia. We want the US Special Services to think about how they can contribute to achieving the goals our Special Services are pursuing. We are ready to talk. Moreover, the talks are underway.